Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you are not a person that wants to pay for that monthly or yearly or even paying maybe $400 or more for Microsoft Office, then say no more. We're pretty much going to be showing you an alternative route of how to download and install a program called Free Office that pretty much contains Word, Excel, and PowerPoint that is pretty much the basics for you that you need today. So we'll be showing you how to do this right after this sponsor. Are you tired of keeping track of all your different passwords and not even able to log in? Stop writing down passwords. Use RoboForm. Not only does RoboForm store your passwords, it logs you in with one click, so no more typing. RoboForm uses industry standard encryptions for all your data, so you can be absolutely sure that your information is secure. With over 20 years of experience and more than 30,000 five-star reviews, RoboForm is a perfect solution to your password problems. So head over to the link below and make your password problems simple. Alrighty guys, so pretty much all you have to do is open up a browser. And from there, all you have to do is type in is freeoffice.com. I was actually mistyping it, so we are .com. There it is. And depending on this, it might be in a different language of German. That's fine. Just You can translate if you need to. And this is kind of gets changed around. To make this easier, all you have to do is go to the top and on the first one you see is pretty much the English and makes the site a little bit more easy for you. Regardless, here we are and here is accept all cookies because that is going to be there. And here it is. This pretty much tells you that it pretty much has the Excel, PowerPoint and Word for this and it even tells you a cool awesome program called Free PDF. That's another good one that you can consider about downloading. It's an alternative than having to use Adobe Reader. And this pretty much tells you about it. What we're going to do is pretty much go ahead and over to download and select it because it does tell you that they do have support for pretty much from MacBooks, Windows, or Linux computers. So that is freaking awesome. So pretty much I said MacBooks. It's actually it's for Apple products for Macs. You know what I mean? Regardless, here they are. And you can pretty much download. And here it is also the free version for the free PDF. Regardless, we're pretty much going to select the download for Windows. Depending on what type of browser has this showing here, it could be on the bottom, it could be on the top right. You'll select which either one, and you're going to pretty much go ahead and let it download. If it doesn't, it has a little click button. If the download didn't want to automatically start, because you could be being blocked for pretty much like an ad blocker or something like that. Regardless, go ahead and click it, and it should come up to the point and download. So I'm going to go ahead and let it finish downloading, and we'll continue doing the rest after that. Alright guys, so pretty much the download has been completed. If it does depend, it might follow where your folder where it got downloaded to. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and select the open file. And here is the program. I'm pretty much going to go ahead and exit out to the browser. I don't really need it anymore. And as you're seeing, it says SoftMaker. That is pretty much the company that has the free office for it. That's the actual company program. Regardless, it tells you welcome to the installation for SoftMaker Free Office 2021. This might change over time for this video, but the concept might still be the same. All we're going to do is go ahead and press next, and I'll tell you pretty much their license agreements and warranty. You get the point. It's a free software, so I don't think it really matters. We're just going to go ahead and select it and press I agree, and then press next. And right here, you have customizations if you need to select only ones you want. So let's say you only wanted like the text, the power, pretty much the word, PowerPoint, or the sp pretty much actually the plain paper is pretty much the Excel, and the presentation is pretty much the PowerPoint. Um, pretty much you can just leave them all there if you want them to be done. I'm pretty much going to just go back and pretty much use the basic and press install. And here it is. You might be prompted for this. If it does prompt you, go ahead and press yes and let it do its work. So right here, pretty much the icons just came up. So that's actually a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and let it finish. And right now we'll just open them up and see how it looks on them. So this was a good installation and tell us that we had to restart. Some programs usually require that for the actual service and backgrounds to work, stuff like that. But it did not need it, so everything seems good. So I'm going to go ahead and press finish. And pretty much this is called TextMaker. I think this is pretty much the one that's going to be like Word. Let's go ahead and open that up. And it tells us about information, so what type of layouts you want. There's the default ribbons, there's a white version, there's the black dark version, there's classic menus or the new versions. I'm pretty much going to leave the basics as is. You can change this, I think, if you go to settings and change the user interface that you want. And pretty much here it is. It's pretty much opening up. It tells if you want to use your user information. This is pretty much, you will enable this when you're going to create a pretty much a word document or something like that. I don't think you really need to type this. If I press cancel, I think we're pretty much fine. It's just pretty much what type of documents on templates and stuff like that. So I pretty much just exit out. 
and it pretty much tells us welcome to the text maker and pretty much this right here is pretty much the word if you look at this it literally looks like identical uh, microsoft office that we use for word for it but this is called the text maker remember that and we're gonna go ahead and open up the next one this is called a plain plan maker i think this is actually an excel i think if i'm correctly yes yeah, so this is pretty much a layout that looks identical like pretty much excel for microsoft again same concept same things you can do and pretty much the same structure just a different name and the other one is called the presentation this is pretty much going to be the one that we're going to use pretty much that's going to be called the powerpoint it literally looks again the same way for microsoft office and that is pretty much it this program is pretty much set for you and that's pretty much it thank you for watching from helton's computer repair and i will see you on the next video Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.